on TerryLovell.com here at the Grand Bend Speedway, standing here with Michelle Corsina and uh, getting ready for what should be a hot night of action. A lot of sun this afternoon and uh, a lot of cars to, to deal with in the hot sun. Uh, it's going to be a fun night, though, I'm sure. I hope so. <laughs> now, uh, what's it like out on this track? It seems like it's really tough to pass. I noticed our last time here last year, there's a lot of bump drafting in that on a, on a short track. Is it really that tricky to pass? Um, the lower line's definitely better to pass, but um, I think if you have a good car, you can pass on the outside too. Now, this is your first attempt at racing here at Grand Bend Speedway this season, and uh, what's it been like with the other drivers? Do you get much help from other drivers in other divisions or even in your own division, or is it uh, pretty much you're on your own? Um, well, actually, we raced here a long time ago. We raced here for six years, so um, I don't really know too many of the new drivers yet. It's our first night here again, but um, everyone seems pretty helpful. Now, uh, it seems like a pretty close-knit group here in the pit area, and, and uh, it's, it's fun competing against some of the younger drivers coming up through and see some of these kids, it's like, wow, it makes people like you and I seem old, you know? What's it like to see these youngsters coming up and watching them progress? Um, it's great. I think they'll end up going somewhere. A lot of them are really good, and um, I guess I was that young kid at one point, too. <laughs> now, it takes a lot of good people to get you to the track. Who would you like to thank? Um, I'd like to thank my brother, he works on the car, and Hogtown Cycles in Lucan. Alright, there you go. That's Michelle Corsina here at the Grand Bend Speedway as we get ready for some racing action here tonight. I'm Greg Kelnan for OntarioLoval.com.